Today on the channel from the latest wave of the Masters Universe Origins, we've got King Randor and Digatino. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Masters Universe Origins unboxing and review. And today from the latest wave, we've got King Randor and Digatino. But remember, for all your Masters Universe needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description below to save. There it is, Big Bad Toy Store coming in hot with these two, fresh off the truck. I will say, unfortunately, they did get the foreign card editions. Uh, which is always a bad one. It's not so bad as far as this, but if you want to look at the comic books, there's no uh, captioning in the comic books. There's no wording. So that is always unfortunate. Don't know, understand how Mattel's getting that supply mixed up, uh, but it is what it is. But these are available on Big Bad Toy Store. If you're looking for these right now, hit it up right there. But an interesting one. King Randor, an old favorite, an old favorite of mine. And we'll talk about him in a second. But then we got Digatino. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right, as this is my first time around the sun with him from the Sun Man line. But of course, we'll do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we'll see where it goes from there let's start off with old king randor here king randor was one as a child that i always wanted i never did get uh, for whatever reason but king randor of course a major player a little bit in the dark in some ways i guess we'd say the old masters universe filmation uh tv show animated series but always a guy that was very respected as a king. And he does look like, of course, the Burger King, as a lot of people always call him the Burger King, but he looks just like him. Uh, but very, very cool to have him in the Origins line. He was overdue. I figured we'd have him by now, but I'm just happy to have him. Finally, of course, the traditional packaging. We know it. We love it. We've seen it. We've got the 40th anniversary little uh, foil sticker up there at the top. Masters Universe King Randor. What's it say here? It doesn't say anything. It says absolutely nothing. <laughs> so usually there's a little bit of a saying there. We don't have any of that. Includes comic. Of course, there's going to be no words in these comics, I do believe. Got the Mattel logo at the bottom. This is an unpunched edition, though. It has that going for it. Of course, we got the cross sell over there. We got Whiplash, Trap Jaw. We'll unbox them in another video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we got some action features, things like that. And then up top, it doesn't say anything about what's going on up there. So there's no blurb, anything like along those lines. But we got some serious, serious Easter eggs in the background there uh, with King Randor. So uh, maybe a peek under the tent, what might be coming down the line for us, uh, hopefully soon. But without further ado, let's get old King Randor out of the package here. You guys know me, I'm always a little scared to unbox these guys sometimes. So that one time I ripped the comic really good. Oh, I was so disappointed in myself. Nothing worse than ripping up your old comic book. Pulling that out, there's old King Randor. Off to the races, see you later, goodbye. How about a little plastic prison for the king? He'll fire, fire up a Whopper for you. Why wouldn't he? I always like the old school chicken sandwiches at BK. When I used to go there, uh, pretty much all the BKs in my area have closed down. Maybe yours is the same, similar uh, state of consequences there for Burger King. But most of mine have closed down. But when I did go there, especially when I was a kid, I got that old school chicken sandwich. Big fan of that old school chicken sandwich. And of course, we're locked in at the feet as well. They don't want Randor going anywhere. I'm going to bust him out. Uh, but yeah, what is your favorite thing to get at Burger King? And You know, I don't think I've ever had a Whopper in my whole life. Can you believe that? I've always been a chicken guy for whatever reason. Oh my gosh, this is the most annoying unboxing. There it is. We're finally out. See you later. Put some spin on it. Get out of here. We got rubber bands everywhere. Uh, but I've never had a Whopper either, so I don't know. I don't know. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Never had a Whopper. Oh boy, just wild, wild times. Wild times. King Randor off to the side. Let's look at this comic book real fast. Make sure... We don't have any writing in here, and that is 100% correct. Uh, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. The inter international market doesn't get any writing. It's just uh, blank pages, blank pages throughout. So it is what it is. I'll take a couple pictures of that. Of course, we do get the instructions. See you later, Spider-Man style. We're off to the races, taking a look at old King Randor here. Now we do get his scepter, his spear, whatever we're going to call this thing. All one color, very... Uh, very uh, par the course for this line, of course, uh, but looking really good. Kind of nice gloss to it, of course. Got nice sculpting in it, but once again, it's all one color, just kind of a yellow uh, staff, spear, whatever we were going to call it there. So there it is. Then we get old King Randor, the Burger King himself. He's got a nice crown. The crown is not removable. Of course, his head does spin around. Articulation, the same as all these guys. Arms spin all the way around. You got a little uh, bicep there. Not bicep, but... 
elbow, or just single jointed. Of course, hands removable back and forth. You get the waist articulation. You get a little bit of action at the thighs. You get the knees that bend. You, of course, you get his nice slippers, his nice snow boots down here. You get the boot cut. You get the ankle movement. Uh, the usual, of course. Then, of course, he also has his loincloth. Everybody loves an attorney, a loincloth. Looking really good. Now, the extra accessory with King Randor, though, is, of course, he's got his his uh, chest piece there, which we've seen on others like Fisto, for example. We've seen this before. But to get his cape, of course, he's celebrating cape season like a young Lando Calrissian. Uh, I do like that. Of course, every king needs his cape, so that makes all the sense in the world to me. But King Randor looks really good, and I'm righting a wrong from all those years back when I was a little kid never got the King Randor figure. Now I do finally have him in my collection. Uh, and he does look good. He's got a good tan. You can just tell he's been hanging out on the beach. Uh, he's just living that king life all day long, apparently. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's a test we always do. You guys know that. Make sure you get the Mattel stands, and you can save 10% with discount code KYLE. And Randor, man, he fits like a glove. He looks good. I am happy to have this one in my collection after all these years. Just a beautiful one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we turn our attention over to Digatino. Hopefully I am saying that correctly. Uh, is it Digitino? Digatino? I'm not exactly sure. Of course, I did not grow up with Sunman. I don't even remember Sunman being on the store shelves in my area. Uh, your mileage may vary on that. Some people have said in other videos that, oh yeah, we had those everywhere. And then a lot of people say, I've never seen these. Uh, but we do know this universe, the Sunman universe, was folded into the Masters of the Universe universe. Uh, and we've had a, quite a few figures already that we've unboxed on the channel over the last couple of years. And now we got another one. And we got, like I said, Digatino. Hopefully that's right. Don't want to offend the guy. Uh, but we got his figure here. Uh, looking good. Looking swell. Looking unpunched as well. Look at that. Uh, but of course, you got the Sunman sticker down below to represent his squad, his team. And of course, that vest does glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. He's fighting Trapjaw on the back. The mini comics Trapjaw. Uh, warnings, UPCs, all that kind of stuff. This is a foreign edition, like I said, but he does glow in the dark, so that's always fun to have glow in the dark toys. I, of course, have a He Man room, and it's always fun to look in there. You see Scare Glow shining his light, and I guess Digatino will be doing the same thing in the future here for me. I'm going to try to unbox him without ripping this comic up. That's the plan, at least. Uh, very interesting, very interesting guy here. Don't know anything about his story. See you later. And I guess I won't know anything about his story because I won't be able to read the comic book, unfortunately. Uh, see you later. Goodbye. See you later. Off to the side. Same comic book with all these figures as you guys are fully aware by now if you've been collecting this line for sure. And there he is in the old plastic prison looking only like a Digatino could look if he was in the Masters Universe line instead of the Sunman line. There it is. There it is. And is he locked in anywhere? I'm sure he is. No, he's not. He was not locked in like King Randor. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. And we're off to the races. Let's see what's going on with old Digatino here. An interesting guy, and of course he does got a little pincher, a little pincher weapon. An interesting go-to-market strategy for a weapon. Oh, I don't want that sword. Don't give me that axe. Give me that claw. This doubles as a grabber. He's on the couch, can't reach the remote. He's using this thing. He's, oh, yeah, I got the remote. There it is. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Once again, very similar to all the other weapons. All one color, but a nice gloss to it. Kind of an orangish, pinkish claw there. Uh, just an interesting weapon. I don't know if he's going to defend a whole lot with that, but you never do know. And then, of course, he does have his vest. And like I said, you can tell when you see this vest, you're like, oh, I bet that glows in the dark. It just looks like a plastic that glows in the dark. So that is cool enough, I guess, as a lot of people do like glow-in-the-dark toys, myself included. So that uh, gives a little extra charm to Digatino. I wonder if Digatino ever eats a DiGiorno pizza. Uh-huh, uh, I don't know. It could be. Uh, but an interesting one. Articulation going to be the same as we walked through earlier. It looks like some of these boots are reused from the Sun Man. Uh, just, of course, painted a different color. So reuse is really the name of the game. He's got an interesting head on him. Uh, definitely a different head than we've seen. It's not a reused head like we saw with some of the Sun Man figures. You guys know about that. Uh, but it looks okay. I don't know if he'll set the world on fire once again. I don't know if there's a lot of people clamoring for this one. Uh, I do like the little hair knot he does have at the bottom. That's a nice little interesting look for him. Will he fit on a ringside stand? I just don't know, though. I don't think he's going to set the world on fire. That's just my uh, opinion. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I don't think he's going to be made in the same quantities as a Skeletor or He-Man, though. So I think that will help his sales. Uh, he won't be as bad of a peg warmer, hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. There's old Digatino and bring out some of his friends. We got the old Space Sumo. Oh, yeah. The Telekinetic Ninja. Oh, don't ask me. Don't ask me about it. 
And then, of course, you got Sun Man. And this is my preferred Sun Man, of course, from the three pack. Uh, an interesting one, as we talked about and we learned, these two have the exact same head, just painted different colors. I don't know what that's about. Uh, we could put that mask on there if we needed to. And not so much on there, but it will fit on Space Sumo, as we know. So we're really building out Sun Man and his team. They're ready to take on Pig Head. All the merrier, all the more fun there. And I guess King Randor can watch from afar. He can watch from Eternia to see what's going on in Sun Man Land. I forget what it was called. Something I can't remember from the three-pack. Uh, but an interesting one. I think King Randor, for somebody like me, I was looking for this all day long. This is one I really wanted as a kid, never got. Great to have him in this scale after all these years. Digatino's not bad, though. Between these three, I'm going to put him in second place. Space Sumo is a cool idea. Uh, but just seeing him as reused from the Sun Man head really brings him down a notch for me. If he had his own head, he might be my favorite. But I'll never be able to see. That's just Sun Man in a different paint of color. Color of paint. There it is. Uh, but an interesting, interesting one here. King Randor, though, gets the Duke for me if I'm having to choose between these two. But are they the most iconic Masters figures? Absolutely not. So it'll be interesting to see how these guys sell as well. But it is the holiday season. That should help move some uh, numbers through the pegs, I would think, and through the register. So we'll see what happens. But you guys, chime in. What are your thoughts on these ones? Did you, uh, one of the kids back in the day that collected Sun Man, did you have Sun Man? Feel free to chime in about that. Uh, what are your thoughts on King Rander? And what do you think about Burger King? Is it leaving your area like it's leaving mine? Are they down in the dumps? Has Wendy's and McDonald's finally pushed them down so low there's no recovering? Uh, can we get a BK broiler? You guys let me know all your BK thoughts in the comments below as well. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. And then don't forget about the Patreon link in the description below where you can get early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, uh, Q&As, a lot of bonus content over there on the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for a little Masters of the Universe today, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.